Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abom. I'm very sweaty. It's very hot. Welcome back to the local, the global with Ferenc Varos on FM22. Champions League qualifying today. We've got Sheriff Tiraspol of Moldova. I was going to do an extra video for Tuesday, but it's been far too hot to be sitting in front of a camera with a light on to record video. So I'll wait until a bit later in the evening. And this is going to be out on the, you know, the usual Wednesday upload. If you're enjoying the series, drop a like, leave comments, subscribe if you haven't, or if you're new, turn notifications on. Champions League today, a few more bits of transfer stuff to get through as well. Uh, so let's jump into it. Been absolutely suffocating in this heat today it's really not been fun but anyway last episode we kicked off season two with Ferenc Varos we won our first game of the league 3-1 win away against ZTE newly promoted pretty good performance we kind of slipped off the gas towards the end but we got three points to start things off that's good we have made one more signing it is a backup goalkeeper Andre Krudrovets on loan from Marseille's Belarusian happy to be a backup and he looks fine, so, you know, I'm fine with him as a second-choice goalkeeper. Might play some cup games, we'll see. But yeah, he's our backup goalkeeper. We had a few in mind, but um, they either were too expensive to be a backup or didn't want to be a backup, they wanted to be first choice, and I didn't really want to give them first choice and then not play them and make them unhappy. So this is what we've gone with. So Champions League third qualifying round today. We have been drawn against Sheriff of Moldova in the Champions group. So hopefully we can get through. If we do win and go through to the playoff, we will take on either Rapid Bucharest or Olympia of Slovenia. And I think of those four teams of Rapid Olympia, Sheriff and ourselves, I think we're probably the best side, so I'm pretty confident we can get through to the Champions League groups this season. We just need to be at our best to do so. I think we can win both sides. Rapid Bucharest we can beat. Olympia, I'm sure we can beat. So I'm confident we'll get through to the Champions League groups with that draw. I think it's been quite good to us. That's been quite a favourable draw. We could have faced someone like Shakhtar or Celtic, but I think we've actually had a really good draw there. First up, though, we need to make sure we defeat Sheriff Tiraspol. Now, last season, we went out of this stage, but we got drawn against Club Bruce. Much, much tougher draw. We're going to start on positive and see how things go. Uh, we are looking good fitness-wise. A couple of players unregistered. We really did struggle to put together a squad because we don't have a lot of homegrown players. Adu is still out with his Achilles injuries out for a few weeks and Boros got injured in the last game, so he's out for a few weeks as well. Not great. But Felix Correa is going to make his debut on the right wing today and Bradley Fink is also going to make his debut as a centre forward. I think we're going to have him more as an advanced forward than a pressing forward. Though. I think we're going to change that ever so slightly. Fortunately with Kudrovets, we brought him in a little too late so we couldn't register him for the squad and we can't actually register him for the league until November so I'm hoping that Dovin stays fit otherwise we are in big trouble in terms of goalkeepers we might end up having to play a grey one if he gets hurt so Sheriff the Champions of Moldova managed by Andre Martin uh, and they host the first leg so we need to make sure that we do a good job in the first leg if we can win that's good I think as long as we avoid defeat we'll be okay because I'm confident that we can and get the home win so just avoid defeat in the first leg and we'll have done our job but if we can win that will make our job so much easier so fingers crossed king says with a header forward to moggy rusi nine minutes on the clock first highlight of the game and we are in control of the ball here's daniel ballard forwards to stefan lonshire here's moggy rusi really good stuff oh and a bad finish by bradley fink but a big chance there Margarisi has been brilliant since recording from loan. Been one of our one of our best players, definitely one of our most informed players of the past or six months or so. We had a chance there to take a lead, and Bradley Fink couldn't quite get the finish off. Here is a uh, Andrade. Why is his name not Felix Correa? Why is he called Andrade? He's got the ball here. It's Lonchar, and that was wide, high and wide. Why is he called Andrade? Just go by your name. Why? Why is all this nonsense about changing your name? We've had one or two chances, so, you know, good early signs. We're only 17 minutes in, still plenty of time left in the game. We need to make sure that we stay tight at the back because now uh, the home side are actually in control of the ball and Yansane has just breezed past the goalkeeper and Momo Yansane makes it Sheriff 1, Ferenc Varos nil. 17 and a half minutes in. It's the one chance they've had so far. They're one spell of possession and they've scored. 
And this is a side that in real life beat Real Madrid last season. They can say they beat the champions of Europe. Jan Sane, just... The number 19, the defender, was nowhere near him. The goalkeeper didn't even go for it. Uh, that just wasn't great, was it? And it was on side. I don't know why you're showing me that. But that's not a good start. I mean, we've started well. We've just conceded their first shot. So that needs that. that's not good. If we lose this game in Moldova, that is going to make our job much, much tougher. I mean, strictly speaking, we're not in Moldova. We're actually in Transnistria. Bradley Fink with another chance there, but it's a P-roller. Yeah, we're actually in Transnistria, which is like, a, I think it's like a debated region or a disputed region. I'm not entirely sure how things um, work in this area. Transnistria, unrecognized breakaway state that's internationally recognized as part of Moldova. So it is like its own thing. It just hasn't got like any independence. But at the moment, it is part of Moldova. And they're beating us at the moment, which is not good. Five minutes to go in the first half. We've been on top. We probably should have scored and we haven't. That's not what we want to see. I'm not angry or disappointed. That's worse than being mad at these guys. We haven't played badly. We've just conceded like, I think they're one and only shot. It's just, it just happens sometimes. We're going to go straight into the second half. I mean, they've had just two shots at goal. I'm going to fire up. Because we should be beating these guys, and hopefully we can do. Think with a chance here, and we've taken, what, 13 seconds of the second half to equalise. Uh, I went for a fire up, and that might get, um, not cancelled out, but that's probably going to be a negative reaction now, because we've equalised, and the shout hasn't actually taken effect yet. But Mogurisi to uh, Andrade, who apparently is Felix Correa, but has a different name. Bradley Fink with his debut goal. Had a couple of chances in the first half, but couldn't quite take them. But we've been well in control of the game. We just conceded, which we really shouldn't have done. But let's make sure we win in Moldova now. That'll make our job at home much easier in a week's time. Tollington's getting a bit tired, so he might be one change. I'm noticing I'm making a lot of defensive changes here in this save. I mean, it might be like the training, but, you know, defensive changes aren't something that you really see very often unless there is an injury. Uh, we are going to make a couple of changes. Um, Riccardi's also tired. Mogirusi is tired. Um, let's bring on uh, Leandro Fernandez for Mogirusi. And I'm going to bring on Almaski for Kinkses. Ballard will keep out there a little bit longer. Um, but hopefully we can get a win here. There's about 20 minutes to go with the 90. Um, we've been all right. We haven't really done anything wrong apart from concede. Last few minutes, I'm going to demand more in these last little bit and go attack and try and get a goal here. But, I mean, a draw in Moldova is not the end of the world. We are going to have a bit more work to do at home, but hopefully we can do so. Jan Sane to Laptev, unless Moldova score now. Oh, Medved might actually get it, but it's into the hands of Oliver Dovin. Big chance there for the Moldovans late on. Dovin sends it long. Hopefully that gets to Zubkov. It does, but there's nobody uh, making the run, unfortunately. Here's Jan Sane again. Dumitrescu. To Medved. I probably actually shouldn't go attacking because we could open open ourselves up. Oh, I, oh, is it going to get sent off? Yeah, that's going to be a second yellow for for Felix Correa or Andrade or whatever he wants to call himself. Uh, debut red card. That's not good. Uh, we have got one more change we can make. So Lonchar is going to come off. Georgievich is going to come on. Um, but just a few minutes to go. It's a draw in Moldova, which isn't ideal. But I'm confident we can win in Hungary, so that's okay. It's it's not the end of the world, but I really would have liked to have um, to won that game. It would have made it a bit easier for us. Uh, we should have won based on the chances created. There you go. That's that's about as true as we can get with a team talk, isn't it? Uh, Olympia did win in Romania, so it looks like um, we're probably going to be taking on the Slovenians if we get through to the playoffs. Um, but we need to make sure we beat Sheriff at home now. We haven't managed to do so in Moldova. Okay, we've got no league game in the weekend, so that's good at least. We haven't got to worry about resting players for it. We can just go straight into the second leg against Sheriff, play our strongest team we can. Try and make sure we get through to the playoffs, and they will be next episode. Hopefully, we can get a Champions League group. I think based on the draw, we probably should be getting through to the groups. In the last season, we were in the Europa League groups. We actually managed to win what I thought was quite a tough group with Athletic Club and Boda Glimpse. And who was the other side of our group last season? Um, Galatasaray. I thought that was quite a difficult group. We ended up winning it and only losing one match. 
Bit of transfer news. Joseph Almaski is leaving. He's going to Huesca in La Liga. So he's off to Spain. Five and a quarter million pounds is the fee. I don't think that's too bad. He's been here since uh, 2026. 350k. Lots of profit. And uh, yeah, we'll get some money and hopefully we can spend that around the squad and maybe try and get another fullback in. Maybe a homegrown one because we need more homegrown players. But Almaski is gone. And furthermore, Kobalin is leaving the club. We signed a lot of midfielders when we had a bit of an injury crisis. He joined us in January for £3 million from Legia. He is off as well. He is off to Belgium, to Charleroi, £4.6 million. So again, bit of profit. So that's good as well. And we did include him in the European squad. He wasn't happy. So we've moved him on as well. And also Adil Bone, the fallback we got on a free from Man City, has gone on loan to Denmark, to Sundayisk. And we're on to the second leg at home against Sheriff. Of course, we drew in Moldova, so we need a win here to get through to the Champions League groups. Let's see if we can do so. Now, with Correa suspended after his sending off, Georgievich is going to start on the right. And that is going to be our only change. We did do well last time, despite not winning. So, you know, I think we're good. I think we'll be okay. We do only have six players on the bench, though, because uh, of the injuries and suspensions and unregistered players. But that's okay. Hopefully, we won't need seven. We don't get seven. You know, we'll only need three, four if we don't win this, which I'm hoping we do. We really should be. Okay, here we go. Second leg is underway. It's currently one goal apiece after the first leg. If we win, this second leg will go through to the Champions League playoffs. We seem to make sure we do so. But we, you know, couldn't really get the ball away there. And here's Jansan, and finally Ginolis does head a forward, and finally we can actually break away. Here's Riccardi, and he's gone over the top for Fink, and Fink with a shot, but it's well saved by the goalkeeper. And the chance goes our way there, three and a half minutes. Again, we need to make, we need a clean sheet at the other end. They had very few shots last time, Sheriff, but they still managed a goal. Here's Medved, and here's Laptev, and they might do it again here. Good tackle in the end, though, by Kingsess. Important tackle. I'm just going to... Drop our defensive line a little bit. It was a bit too high for my liking. Dimitrescu with a throw for Sheriff. And that is going to be straight into the hands of our goalkeeper. Right, we need to be good here. Come on, 21 minutes gone. We need a goal ASAP, really. That's going to come forward for Fink. Heads it down for Mogirisi. He's got a chance to maybe put it in here, but he's been forced out wide. And that's surely got to be a foul. It is. Referee has given a penalty. He bundled over Bradley Fink there, did uh, Gukov. So that's going to be a penalty for us. Who's taking this? It is Georgievich, 22nd minute of the game. It's straight down the middle. It's 1-0 and it's a 2-1 lead on aggregate. Now hold on to that lead. I'm just going to drop it back to positive. And Georgievich with the, the card penalty straight down the middle. Can't really go any more wrong, really. Junilis with the three kick here. It's a short one for Zubkov. And it goes back to Stefan Lonchar. Here's Junilis again. Chance to put the ball in there with a cross. He's got lots of time and space to find one. But it's headed by Jansan, only as far as Riccardi. And needs to be another good cross here. It's Georgievich. Riccardi with a floating ball. And the header by, who was it, Tollinson? I didn't see who it was, but it was a big chance to hit the woodwork. Now we've got a corner. This is good. If we can get a goal from this um, passage of play, it will be well in control. But it's not great corner. And now Durankum coming forward. For Sheriff. And Tollinson's brought him down. Gets a yellow card. I think he kind of took one for the team there. We just haven't quite been at our best in these two legs. We're leading this one. But there's still a long way to go. We're still over... Well, not even halfway through the match. So there's still a long way to go. We need a clean sheet. That's well won by in, in the air by Ballard though. Here's Georgievich. And there's Moki Rusi. And there's Fink. How have you hit the post from there? You're about seven yards out. It was offside anyway, but come on, guys. You need to be doing better than this. Another corner. 36 minutes on the clock. Fink with another header, and again, it's off the bar. That's twice in as many minutes he's hit the woodwork. Half time in this second leg. We really should be winning by more than a goal on the night. 2.14 XG. The penalty did play a part in that. But we've already hit the woodwork three times. We've had chances. We've only had three shots on target, so... Don't get complacent. We need to make sure that we see this through. Zubkov hasn't played well on that left wing. We might need to think about getting him off um, in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. Ball over the top. It's going to find Fink, but the keeper's come a long way out there, Valciano. Here's Medved. And here's Margaret. Margaret. Medved. 
Oh, he's surely offside there. He's chipped the goalkeeper. It's wide. That was onside. Seriously? That's going to be a red card. That's the second booking for Margaret. Roman Vigarius, has come on. Tonnington with a free kick to Lonchal. Mogirusi. I don't know where that's going. It's going to go back with the goalkeeper. And it's a ball forward. Kingsess with the ball to Lonchar. We need a goal to try and make this 2-0 and really give us some breathing space. We might do here. Georgievich from the tight angle gets it. It's 2-0 and he's got both goals tonight. And that finally gives us a bit of space. 3-1 now on aggregate with just over half an hour to go. That's what we needed. We're now 2-0 up. We haven't made it easy for ourselves over these two legs. But hopefully that will be the one to really put this tie to bed. Georgievich uh, saw the keeper off his line. Went for the tight angle and found it. That was good. I'm going to get Zubkov off though. He really hasn't done too well today. So uh, Unavar is going to come on on the left wing. Laptev heads it on for Medved. Who's going to need a bit of set help here. He's the furthest man forward. And he was in his own, he was in his own half. Laptev to Dimitrescu. 63rd minute of the match. Sheriff needs two goals to draw level here. We don't really want to be giving them any. But they're coming forward. Dimitrescu with a cross. Jansan with a header. Oh, just wide. But another good chance goes their way. Out wide for Laptev. Trying to use this uh, this left-hand side now, the Moldovans. That's over the top for Jansan. Oh, Dovin. That's a brave move. Some sweeper keeper stuff there by Oliver Dovin. But it's not away yet. It's Mateus Santos. And he's got a slight goal. He goes for it. But again, it's high and wide. They've only had one shot on target this second leg, Sheriff. So they haven't been... They haven't been great in both legs, but they just managed to cause us that little bit of trouble. And we weren't really our best. De Jong is going to come on for uh, Lonchar. Also, Djordjevic is going to come off. Actually, no, Djordjevic isn't going to come off. 89th minute. We have got one more change, though, haven't we? Yeah. I'm trying to think about what that last one is going to be. Might just be a defensive change. Here's De Jong. Oh, Georgievich has got the ball here. Oh, almost a hat-trick. But again, he's hit the bar. I think that's at least four times this game that we've actually hit the woodwork. Let's make our last change. Ricard is going to come off. Let's just get an extra man in defence with uh, Katona. Unavar with a late corner kick here. And Fink. Oh, De Jong. How did he miss that? He couldn't quite get it in. Don't think he really saw it coming. But we're well into stoppage time. We're looking good. We've got a two-goal cushion. Looks like we are going to be through to the Champions League playoffs. Unavar taking his time over the corner. And I think this might be the last chance. It's away by Delanto. And we're just waiting for that whistle now. Was, um, yeah, we weren't amazing in this tie, but we did the job. You know, we avoided defeat in Moldova. Probably shouldn't have scored. Maybe should have scored more than we did. But at the end of the day, we're through. 3-1 aggregate win, a 4.26 XG and 11 shots on target. We dominated them over both legs. They just caused us that little bit of grief. So, you know, it wasn't... As comfortable as what I hoped, but enough for us to get through. So, who are we going to be facing in the Champions League playoffs then? Um, it's either going to be Olympia or Rapid Bucharest. And it is Olympia. A 1-1 draw in Slovenia means they won 2-1 on aggregate. So, we're taking on the Slovenian champions in the Champions League playoffs. One of us will be through to the Champions League group stages. Rapid Vienna getting a draw in Slovenia, but it's not enough for them. I think we should be beating Olympia Ljubljana in the playoffs. So I'm pretty confident we can get Champions League groups. And that's a great place to be in because that's going to give us plenty of money. Uh, give them plenty of money. Um, of course, this is going to be probably our last season with these guys. So at least we'll leave them in a good place. Uh, so we'll do both legs against Olympia next episode. We have got a game off camera against Fehrva to get through. So I'll play that. And we'll do both legs against Olympiana. There's a Honved game in between as well. Um, so that'll be... Friday's video and group stage draw is just a couple of days after that second leg so if we do beat Olympia then we will see that at the end of the video as well and find out what our Champions League group's going to be if we get through but that is going to do it for today thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video drop a like leave comments and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new turn notifications on uh, we got past Sheriff it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be but we managed to get through next up we've got the Slovenian champions chance to get through to the Champions League group stages get plenty of money in Fingers crossed we can get through, get through to the groups. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.